In this module, we will examine the Altium Designer window environment in greater detail. Altium Designer is a unified design system, providing all the needed tools for PCB design. It includes everything, from schematic capture to PCB layout, providing fabrication and assembly file generation, as well as library creation. All of these tools operate from within AD using a common tool interface and the unified design database. Altium uses panels and windows within the tool to provide a consistent look and feel between the various applications. In the prior module, we explored the DXP system menu. Now here we see across the top of the tool the menu bars and toolbars. Notice the workspace section in the center and the workspace panels on the bottom right. One thing to point out that's important is the status bar on the bottom left, as it provides feedback on the current status. This is especially helpful when performing a multi-step command as it shows the prompts for the next current step. Now let's talk about terminology. We've already seen the project panel and the DXP system menu. Let's look at the others. The menu bar to the right of the DXP system menu provides a number of pull-down menus that are context sensitive based on the current active window. Here we have the schematic open in the workspace and that is the active window. Likewise, below the menu bar are the toolbars. With the schematic window active, we see the list of icons. These also change based on the current active window in the workspace. When we switch to the PCB window, notice the icons change to reflect the new active window. To further explore the tool interface, we will open up Altium Designer and the SL1 example project installed as part of the typical installation. To open the project, go to File, Open Project, and navigate to the Install Directory for Altium. Selecting the Examples folder, and then the Spirit Level SL1 folder, and then the Project file. This particular project has schematics, a PCB, a schematic library, and a PCB library. We have already seen the project panel showing the projects and their files currently open. If when you open up a project in Altium and you do not see this panel, Clicking on the System tab at the very bottom right of the window will pull up a menu where you can select the Projects panel entry. In this particular project, you'll notice that there are a number of documents, including the schematics, the PCB, the schematic symbol library, a PCB footprint library, and a 3D library. Let's start by opening up the top-level schematic. This design is a hierarchical design with top-level and multiple sub-level sheets in the overall design. We can open up the PCB by double-clicking on the PCB doc file. Here we see the PC board including the components placed and the routing as well as some documentation added to the PCB's view. We will come back to the PCB in a later module. Clicking on the Libraries folder expands it. Now we see there are three different library subfolders. The first is a PCB library, and this shows the actual library file with footprints. The second is a PCB 3D library file containing the 3D models. And the third is a schematic library folder for the schematic symbols. Clicking on any of the library files opens them. To see the contents of an open library, we use the corresponding library panel. Navigate to the Workspace panel tab on the bottom right of the tool window Given the fact that we have a schematic library file already open, we would want to click on the Schematic Panel tab, then select Schematic Library option. This panel lists all of the elements in the open library. Viewing the PCB Footprint Library would be done with the library file active, and instead of selecting Schematic Library, we would go to the PCB tab and PCB Library panel. With so many panels and possible active windows, navigating within the tool can be a challenge. Altium allows for the user to customize the layout of the panels and windows. There are three display modes that panels can have, docked, pop-out, and floating. The current project panel is an example of a docked panel. Clicking on the icon that looks like a thumbtack so that it changes to the sideways orientation allows the project panel to change its display mode to pop-up. One typical pop-up panel is the Libraries panel located on the upper right side of the Altium window. When the mouse hovers over or clicks on this tab, it opens up. Leaving that panel will allow it to close.
The last display mode is floating. To float the panel, simply grab the panel at its top and pull it off diagonally. Now the panel is floating, it's detached from the main tool. This is a useful feature to allow you to place panels on a second monitor or anywhere else within your view so that you have a better view of your working monitor. Now with the panel detached and floating, you can in fact move it back onto the Altium Designer window. Notice that when you move it back, depending on where you are aligned to the top, left, or bottom of the window, a highlighted rectangular box will show, indicating that you can dock this particular panel on the left or right vertically, or horizontally on the top and bottom. Altium allows the user to customize the panel display modes to suit your particular needs or preferences. Typically, I have the projects panel fixed on the left, as you see, and the libraries panel I leave as a pop-up located on the right-hand side. This is a matter of personal preference. It's not a tool requirement. Altium can have more than one window. To open and display multiple windows within Altium, right-click on the gray tab area of the working window. This provides a few options for arranging those windows. This will give you a couple of different options. Splitting horizontally or vertically will give a different window layout. Feel free to experiment to find out what works best for you and your machine setup. Again, having two monitors allows you to have a schematic window on one and the PCB showing on the other. This configuration typically works well for many. If during the process of customizing and trying different panel arrangements, you get the tool into a place where you're not able to get things cleaned up, it's a simple matter to restore the default look and feel of the tools. Simply go to the DXP pull-down menu, select Preferences, and then go under System, Desktop, Layouts. Here you can restore your layouts by clicking on the Apply Default Layout or Apply the Startup Layout options. Once you have created a layout that you like, you can also save your current layout. This is useful if you work on multiple machines. You can create your preferred layout for the tool, save that to a file, and then move the file over to another machine and do a load save layout. This has been an overview of the various panels and window environment for Altium Designer. We've showed the various display modes for panels, how to open up a panel, and how to modify the look and feel of the tool layout. In our next module, we will explore the PCB design project concepts.